Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about the latest news and deals on cryptocurrency, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is simply my opinion and not financial advice. Now today, I want to revisit 10x and see what's going on in early 2018. Now, if you guys didn't know, 10x is one of my favorite investments. Uh, even I think back in August or September when I first learned about 10x. And actually, I think I learned it in July when the I ICO came out. But learning about the team and the token structure and just the potential that the team has with the card and more payment solutions, I really love what they're going for. And one of the things that I really loved about the team was the communication. They always have blogs coming out, Q&A coming out, meetups, and they're always communicating with the community, which I really like. And one of the big thing is uh, Julian as well. He's a very charismatic guy. He knows his stuff, goes out and informs people about what's going on. But 10x uh, has some uh, drawbacks as well as uh, recently their card issuer Wavecrest was canceled by Visa because of the Wavecrest uh, going against some terms. And now 10X uh, doesn't have a working cards. However, they are going to, uh, they are going to uh, make a deal with another card issuer, which is to be announced in the future. And although it's been kind of mentioned in the past, they cannot directly announce it for legal reasons, but they, they have another card issuer that they're going to uh, use in the very near future. And it's going, they're going to speed up that process in order to uh, send out all the replacement cards to existing users and have a global distribution for Q1 of 2018. So I'm excited for cards. I think I'll probably order one as well because I do want to use my 10X card. Uh, excited for that. And another thing about the 10X pay tokens. Now the pay tokens have gone through some conflicts and some, I don't know, it's, some, it's in a weird situation right now because ever since, ever since the ICO came out and until today, I believe it's around six, six, five to six months, the pay token still doesn't have a function. So people holding onto the pay tokens are kind of speculating on the function of the token. And especially with the recent update uh, that they announced, uh, which is that they're going to update the pay to token structure so that it's not going to be a security and it will be legally compliant and it will have some uh, features as well. But these features, um, even though they can give out rewards, they cannot promise it because if they promise it, that will be a security and it will be legally incompliant or uncompliant. It, it won't be compliant. So that's one thing that I have been um, kind of neutral about because I did like the pay token as well because looking from the team and what they're doing, I like that. But for the pay token itself, kind of neutral in it. The investment that I made um, hasn't really changed that much. Um, and I made a lot of gains with other cryptos, but with 10x, it's been kind of neutral. And the function of the token is still in the gray area. But that said, um, looking at the team and everything that they're going for, I'm really optimistic about what's to come. But still, the pay token function can be drastically different from what I imagined, either in a very good way or a very bad way. But I'm going to just um, tell you guys some of my educated guesses on what the potential for the 10x pay tokens can be or the function of it. So I think the most likely situation, what most likely feature that will come out is using pay tokens to pay for your card. So right now, I think it's about $15 of BTC in order to get your 10x card. But Julian has mentioned that it is a possibility that they can use a lower amount of pay, maybe $10 of pay to get your 10x card. I don't know, $10, $12, $13. So a lower amount of pay to get your 10x card. That could be good. 
because I do own some pay, so I might as well use that. Also, uh, another possibility is that if they get an exchange in the 10x app, you could buy pay tokens straight from the app and you can use pay tokens as the fee so that you could waive a little bit of fee with the pay tokens. That's another possibility mentioned by Julian. I'm not sure if, it could, if that's going to happen, but I think that's a good possibility. Now, a couple of other ones is the reward. So the original reward was, uh, I think, 0.5% of the card uh, volume that the card spent or the user spent on the card. And 0.5% of that would be distributed among the pay token holders. And um, I think uh, the users would get 0.1% back, like a cash back to their card with Ethereum. But this is going to be either updated or removed. And the reward part, right now, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Because they did say that they cannot promise the reward, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to distribute reward. It's a little bit of gray area, but I still do think that they're going to distribute reward, but they cannot say it officially. Now, how this is going to happen, this is simply my guess, but in order for you to give out rewards to the users, the users need to do a little bit of work so I, I believe Julian mentioned that uh, the users will have to do something in order to get a reward, but I'm not sure what that is. And I think it's going to be a conditional reward in that either you have to do something with the tokens or, or you need to do some task like maybe staking or similar to that in that you do, you contribute to the I don't know success of the network or something like that. And in return, you get the reward back. I'm not sure what that is, but it's something it might be something like staking or uh, maybe holding on to the like locking your pay tokens or holding a certain amount of tape pay tokens. I don't know what's that. Well, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to involve some kind of work from the users in order to get that reward so that it would not be considered a security. Also, with the Comet network. Um, I believe the, at least the idea and the infrastructure is probably going to come in 2018. The reward can, can be distributed from the Comet network as well, because, um, I believe that's going to have a fee system and that certain, probably a certain percentage of the fee can be distributed to the users. Now, this is simply my speculation. Nothing is set right now, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. So. There's a lot of possibility with 10x. And right now I'm a little neutral, leaning towards favorable, but I'm still um, still excited for what's to come. So they do have a blog about the uh, pay token structure update. And this is going to um, happen in the near future. They also did a recent um, blog about the Wavecrest situation, how the Visa canceled Wavecrest and as a result, Wavecrest canceling all their cards, but they're going to have a new card issuer in the near, very near future. They're going to try to speed up this process as well. So my overall opinion with 10X is that they have a great team. They communicate very well. They have a great vision for the leading payment solution, um, being able to spend crypto anytime and anywhere. However, the pay token and the pay token function is still kind of empty at the moment. So I'm excited for what's to come, but hopefully those updated pay token features uh, can be very beneficial to the holders and for the um, future investors as well. So in result, I'll probably get a little bit of more pay tokens as it is going towards the bottom uh, in terms of USD and BTC. So I might be looking into getting a little bit more 10x or pay tokens in the future. But that is it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash the subscribe button. Also ring that little bell for me if you want to be notified. And if you guys want to support the channel, 
check out the links below and I'll really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.